I think that's what drove the energy behind creating the site, to see people have incredible experiences in the Alps because we inspired them to go do something. My name is Janine Palitucci. I grew up in Switzerland. When I was 28, I decided to do another degree and went to California to photography school. That's where I met my husband. My name is Dan Palitucci. I am a mountain sport photographer, athlete, cat lover. <laughs> Dan is my partner in, in business. He's definitely uh, the mastermind of Palitucci Photo. Shinin is the rock that I need. I am temperamental, volcanic. My camera is making a whining noise. Put the lens back on. And she is a stable Swiss where I am a Southern Italian. I call her the general. She's always in the background, kind of actually very much in charge of this whole thing that is our business. You just stack four pizzas on top of one another and have at it. Who carried the pizza up for you? Thank you. The outdoor industry has been a family for me, 31 years, and I love it. I think Dan's focus in life is to combine lifestyle with work, so that work doesn't really seem like work, so it's still more fun than what he likes to do. Lifestyle or life is just what happens within the work. That also means there's never really holidays, there's, you know, work is always present. It's been a non-stop battle of doing what I love and doing what I need to do for work. I love photography, I love the mountain sport. Combining them, sometimes there can be conflict. Damn clouds! I have to find this balance of being an athlete, being a photographer. I try not to shoot what I love the most. When I was bike racing, I refused to shoot it. When I was climbing a lot, I also tried not to shoot it. Mountain running, apparently I don't love it so much because I shoot it all the time. <laughs> I would say we started early 2000s already with trail running, but shooting some shoes and some funny vests, and they just looked horrible, and people would stare at you like, what are you wearing running around in the mountains? If you shoot what you love to do, it can be hard sometimes because you, I, sometimes I just want to run and we can turn a 20K a day into about a 14 hour work day. You guys can go across that flat spot instead of turning the trail at the Cairn. Like the last six, seven years, the market definitely kind of exploded. Mountain running, trail running, that's what we kind of specialized in lately. Are you getting my frustration? Yeah. Like 28k and 1700 up, or 1500 up. My name's Kim, and I like to go running in the mountains. That's pretty much it. <laughs> We met Kim during a multi-day trail running shoot for a brand. She was just stood out with her personality. Kim is like the dream running model. No problem like going back and forth, back and forth for photos, you know, be like, uh. Come back and this is the sound. Ready? Two, three. And then when we found out that she has a background in photography and writing, it was clear that we could do a bunch of projects together. She writes the, the features for the magazines, she can tell the story. I think we have very individual roles, but there's also complete overlap in everything. So the camera gets passed around between everybody. It's all fluid. You just adjust, you know. I mean, we call it our weird little family. And Kim lived at our house for almost four years. Creating a resource like Alps Insight, I think was just purely a result of being super stoked about wanting to share all this cool stuff I was experiencing as an American living in the Alps. I just had abundant stoke and I wanted to share it. It's more a place for us to produce our own stories, kind of put ourselves on assignment, say, okay, we want to do this tour, we want to present it. 
climbing, ski touring, cycling, but then we had a spin-off, so we have a site that's fully running tours and we're close to 80 running tours. We hear from people literally every day, multiple emails. The life changing sometimes, you know, people do the harder go out and they can't believe what an experience it's been. So it's stimulating and it's inspiring to do more. We'd been talking to tour companies and other runners, and there wasn't a dedicated multi-day trail running tour in the Alps. There's the, the Tour Mont Blanc. You can obviously run it. There's a race, but it's not a great running tour. It's certainly not wild feeling. It's a hiking trail. So skiers have their tours, hikers have their tours, but runners didn't have their own tour. So we had really like the 30 best runs we could come up with, the Swiss Alps, and a lot of our favorite routes were in the Valais. Looking at the map, is there a way to connect these? We realized, well, if we connect up some of our book runs and add kind of a new little start to it, maybe we can create this multi-day adventure for runners. Janine, she does all this. Looked at the maps, we kind of did research, and we came up with this tour that goes from Verbier to Tamat in 10 days. The Via Valley goes through really the highlights of the Valley's Alps. You go past the glacier areas, you pass through little Valley's towns. About half of the night you spend in mountain huts, so you're up in the mountains for sunrise and sunset. You just get this other experience you don't get if you stay in the valley. We wanted a different line, a line that wasn't just up, down, up down, kind of these more rolling stretches and saying hi most of the time. When you run, you want to be pulled into a landscape. You want to keep it between 20 and 30 k. So you want to have an average of elevation gain that people can do. It's not extremely hard. You go over an alpine pass, you can cross a couple of small glaciers. You can go to 3,600 meters on our route. On every stage of the Via Valle, we have a bonus peak. Like if somebody's not tired enough, they can do a little high point. And this is one of the kind of must-do bonus peak. If you're not scared of heights, this is just incredible. To build our content, you have to have great images. You have to have great route and you have to present it really well. We built an online guide for it and started sharing that and exploded. The Via Valle name just took off. Swiss tourism was like, what is this? Like, people are really interested in it. And we were so excited to have this thing done. Rewarding to know that we created a trail running destination. Shortly after, in 2019 then, um, oh gosh. <laughs> Surprising, it's still so hard to say. <laughs> Back on the Via Valle, and I had found a lump in my chest. It turned out to be breast cancer. And um, shortly after, I left the Alps and I moved to California. All of a sudden she was gone and we had our couch back and we were a little bit lost, for sure. We kind of kept things up through treatment. Dan and Shanine were in California. Um, right before the pandemic hit, we were actually out running a little bit, and uh, my cancer brought us all to the mountains of California for a little bit. You just keep going with it. It's really kind of cliche, but that whole just one foot in front of the other. <laughs> I just finished up a little more than a year of treatment, chemo, surgery, radiation, and um, now I'm back. <laughs> I'm cold too. <laughs> it's perfect behind it. The sun's where we were, then we come over here, the sun goes She's right back where she was in terms of on the team. She says she has some difficulties for sure. A year of cancer treatment doesn't leave you without some scars. It feels really good to be out here. 
So she's not 100% of where she was as an athlete, but she's 150% motivation. Oh, 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 oh! It really was kind of like, this is where I belong. I think when you come to something late with no expectation, you have just this wholly different appreciation for it. And that's what the mountains, they taught me to live. <laughs> So right, we had already come up with then the second idea, which was the multi-day running tour through the Grabünden, the Via Grishuna. That was great. She was able to join us for this. So I look again at the maps and say, oh, maybe we could do like a seven-day tour that kind of starts in Davos and ends up in Samowitz. It's a little bit of a different landscape, it's a little bit more in the green, it's a little bit friendlier in that sense. Three Alps a little bit look, but then you do end up right next to a 4,000 meter peak. So at the end, you do get into the big mountains as well. The Via Grishuna, I think, is going to be more of, of an entry-level multi-day tour, whereas the Via Valle is this definite harder, more challenging. What it translated to for me on this trip was that I was able to go out and spend seven to nine hours every day moving through the space, but also sitting in the space, eating in the space, laughing with friends in the space, being alone with others in the space, which is something that if I go out running alone over similar distances and like similar amounts of gain. I'm going to be done before noon and I will spend the rest of my day wishing I was still out in the mountains. It's really, really a good thing to go up things and come back down. Mm. Where are you going to be in the second one year from here? I have absolutely no idea. But it'll be somewhere in the mountains.